If you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. I'm going to keep going until I succeed, or die. Don't think I don't know how this might end. I've known it for years. From now on, I don't care if my tea leaves spell die, Ron, die, I'm chucking them in the bin where they belong. But Dumbledore says he doesn't care what they do as long as they don't take him off the chocolate frog cards. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case, you fail by default. Of course it is happening inside your head, Harry, but why on earth should that mean that it is not real? T matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Do not pity the dead, Harry. Pity the living, and, above all those who live without love. Dumbledore watched her fly away, and as her silvery glow faded he turned back to Snape, and his eyes were full of tears. After all this time? Always, said Snape. The truth, Dumbledore sighed. It is a beautiful and terrible thing, and should therefore be treated with great caution. Just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon doesn't mean we all have. Numbing the pain for a while will make it worse when you finally feel it. We're all human, aren't we? Every human life is worth the same, and worth saving. Wit beyond measure is a man's greatest treasure. He can run faster than Severus Snape confronted with shampoo. We are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Indifference and neglect often do much more damage than outright dislike. Death's got an invisibility cloak? Harry interrupted again. So he can sneak up on people, said Ron. Sometimes he gets bored of running at them, flapping his arms and shrieking. Not my daughter, you bitch. Percy wouldn't notice a joke if it danced naked in front of him wearing one of Dobby's hats. Books are like mirrors, if a fool looks in, you cannot expect a genius to look out. You haven't got a letter on yours, George observed. I suppose she thinks you don't forget your name. But we're not stupid we know we're called Gret and Forge. You know, Minister, I disagree with Dumbledore on many counts, but you cannot deny he's got style. Don't talk to me. Why not? Because I want to fix that in my memory forever. Draco Malfoy, the amazing bouncing ferret. Why are they all staring? Demanded Albus as he and Rose craned around to look at the other students. Don't let it worry you, said Ron. It's me. I'm extremely famous. We do not need magic to transform our world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. He must have known I'd want to leave you. No, he must have known you would always want to come back. Cinderella? Snow White? What's that? An illness? Let us step into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure. Holy? 
You have the, the whole world of ear related humor before you, you go for holy? I don't believe in the kind of magic in my books, but I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book. Is fat really the worst thing a human being can be? Is fat worse than vindictive, jealous, shallow, vain, boring or cruel? Not to me. Yeah, Quirrell was a great teacher. There was just that minor drawback of him having Lord Voldemort sticking out of the back of his head. You'll stay with me? Until the very end, said James. The thing about growing up with Fred and George, said Ginny thoughtfully, is that you sort of start thinking anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. It is my belief that the truth is generally preferable to lies. He was my mom and dad's best friend. He's a convicted murderer, but he's broken out of wizard prison and he's on the run. He likes to keep in touch with me, though, keep up with my news, check if I'm happy. Of all the trees we could have hit, we had to get one that hits back. One can never have enough socks, said Dumbledore. Another Christmas has come and gone and I didn't get a single pair. People will insist on giving me books. Things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end, if not always in the way we expect. Understanding is the first step to acceptance, and only with acceptance can there be recovery. Give her hell from us, Peeves. Honestly, if you were any slower, you'd be going backward. Youth cannot know how age thinks and feels. But old men are guilty if they forget what it was to be young. There are some things you can't share without ending up liking each other, and knocking out a 12-foot mountain troll is one of them. The scar had not pained Harry for 19 years. All was well. Ginny, said Mr. Weasley, flabbergasted. Haven't I taught you anything? What have I always told you? Never trust anything that can think for itself if you can't see where it keeps its brain? The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Why are you worrying about you know WHO, when you should be worrying about you know poo? The constipation sensation that's gripping the nation. We do not need magic to transform our world. We carry all of the power we need inside ourselves already. What happened down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, so... Naturally the whole school knows. I hope you're pleased with yourselves. We could all have been killed, or worse, expelled. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to bed. Ah, music, he said, wiping his eyes. A magic beyond all we do here. So light a fire. Harry choked. Yes, of course. But there's no wood. Have you gone mad? Ron bellowed. Are you a witch or not? 